Okay. Yep. All right. Well, thanks very much, Chris, for the introduction. I've had a few titles in my time, but Godfather is a new one. <laughs> so that's going to take a bit of living up to. Uh, yeah, and good to see a lot of, lot of, a few old faces and lots of new faces. The, um, the running, off-road running community is uh, alive and kicking. Um, back in the day, it, I'd like to reiterate, and it always has been a tramping thing. The, the trampers, the original target was a weekend trip. This is like back in the 50s and 60s and that, and there was, I think, you'll probably have to read up on uh, Tony Gaisley's book to find out the details, but it was, um, I think it was uh, Peter Daniel that was the first one to do it as a weekend, was he? Um, but anyway, then it became a bit of a challenge, and there was a guy, Hutt Valley Tramper, called Gary Goldsworthy, who I sort of got my inspiration from, because he, um, he, he had a crack at, he was the first person to have a legitimate crack at the 24 hours, um, and he, he did about 25 and a half, which was a pretty good effort for a tramper, that he refused to run apparently and he pretty much tramped it in 25 and a half hours and I thought ah oh, you silly bugger you just run it a little bit here and there and you can do it so uh, that, that's where I sort of thought I'd um, have a crack so I did a, did a few uh, a few reckeys on different parts of the parts of the track oh and by the way back in the day back then the track was a lot rougher <laughs> and uh, there were there were no shortcuts and the the weather was always foul <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um so I sort of, I learned from his pace notes. Oh, and there also, the guy that had all the, all the press back in the time, back in the day, was a guy called Graham Dingle. And apparently, people that didn't really know the lay of the land said, oh, but Dingle's done it in 18 hours. But Dingle did the Dingle route. And no, not taking anything away from Dingle, but he, he actually had two overnights. He, he overnighted at Shawman Hut, and then he, then he went via Main Range and Holsworth Range to Smith's Creek Shelter in 18 hours and then got out the next day. So he did, a, did two overnighters, but he did a, that was a fantastic effort. He was a pioneer, uh, not, not just in mountain running. So, um, but anyway, uh, so 21 or so years ago, I thought I'd have a crack and I had the perfect day. I sort of, my planning was start about three in the morning, pick, pick the, um, the weekend with the best weather closest, closest to the, longest day or no it was the first full moon after the longest day so there there you go <laughs> which turned out to be sometime in January and yeah we had perfect weather and it was just a great day and I had a had a great bunch of friends that come along and yeah, a couple of guys started started with me but um, they couldn't keep up so they had to <laughs> had to go back and then uh, a few of them tramped in overnight to a couple of points on the way to sort of give me a rev up on the way through so yeah so it was a fantastic day and I enjoyed every minute of it um, the, other, the other thing I'd like to acknowledge is the, around that time it was the early days of organised mountain running events like the Tararua race and the Mount Holsworth race and, and uh, the guys, the organisers of those events were a key, a key um, component of getting a good mountain running community together. You know, get people keen, let's do a bit of training for this, let's get out in the hills and, and that sort of blended the runners with the trampers because you're better off going tramping for your training for, for a lot of that sort of stuff. So yeah, so and and that's sort of that's what got the community together. And I had a good bunch of mates that we'd get out and get out and when it when it was boys only it was take no prisoners, you know, you'd you'd lose you'd lose half of them on the way round and sort of meet back at the pub and that sort of thing. It was it was great. Um, so so it's good to see but for about um, oh, probably 20 years, nearly 20 years, hardly ever, a few people had a crack at it and failed miserably and then I thought well I, I actually got to the point where I thought well I hope someone does it soon because you know that's what records are for, made to be broken and otherwise if everyone thinks ah oh, nah don't worry about it and then I'd, I'd be thinking oh well it doesn't really matter you know but it's really good to see now they're coming in thick and fast I'm going to have to have to get back up there and do some more pace notes and <laughs> have another crack when I'm about 60. <laughs> so, so yeah, but anyway, it's a lot of fun and uh, I think I've used up my allotted time. Yeah, we can we can, we can carry on. Want, yeah, no, 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 that's all good. All right. yeah, Enjoy the rest right. of the evening. Yes, I'll grab your. Um, yep, we can do that. Right